Hola, amores. Uh, I haven't jumped on in a little while to just kind of give an update on how I'm doing with my mental health. And um, yeah, it's surprising because I'm actually going through some of the most chaos in my life now. And I'm actually really finding my inner mental peace. Um, I have a little mantra that I tell myself. I say, find your peace in the chaos. And I've been finding my peace in the chaos. <laughs> mm, it's been taking some time. Like every day is a different battle. So for any of you guys who are battling depression, anxiety, PTSD, uh, I mean, the list goes on with, with whatever you're feeling. It is a daily struggle of choosing. And it sounds so crazy because we are told that it's a choice. But when you are so fucking depressed... You are like, fuck you, it's a choice. This is not a choice. And that's not a choice. You are correct. But when you start breaking through the depression, you start to realize it is slightly a choice of your attitude. Not that I don't have depressive days, but it's my attitude towards those depressive days. And I've been really trying to find my uh, gratitude. <laughs> But it's like, so on those depressive days, I'm still fucking depressed, but I'm making the choice to be grateful for the things that I do have. So simple things, uh, roof over your head, water, food, clothes, warmth, uh, you know, like really, really simple stuff. If you don't have those, or if you feel like you can't even do that, go with something basic animals, butterflies, the ocean, the clouds, the sun, like just try to find things to be grateful for. And what you can do is you reprogram your mind. And I know that I see a lot of people talk about uh, 20, do something for 21 days, 21 days, change your life. Um, I don't know if that's true. Okay. I, I feel like it's almost a fad diet. Lose weight in 15 days, lose 20 pounds. Like, like, I don't want to tell you that this is how many days it's going to be. And then you're going to be fucking great. It's not like that necessarily. Um, the cells, however, in your body scientifically regenerate every 30 to 31 days. So if you plan on reprogramming your mind, I would actually say go for the scientific route of, okay, replace your cells. Fucking fill those cells up with good shit. If we are 70% water and we have seen the doctor, um, the doctor, the Asian doctor who did the water test where he spoke different things to water or he did music. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they did a water test and it changes the structure of water. So if that's true, then telling yourself negative, bad, horrible shit is literally filling each little fucking cell in your body with that. So what I would recommend is you switch that over and you start being more grateful. Um, another big thing in the spiritual community is like, be positive, be positive. And that's easy for you to say, so much harder to do when you're going through shit circumstances to stay positive, you know? Um, so what I recommend again, is gratitude. Maybe you can't stay positive in that moment, but being grateful for that moment. Um, it's fucking insane. So I guess it's it's my time to tell my story and it's my time to open up about my life. And I think I've been doing that in bits and pieces on different parts of social media, but I think it's, it's just time for me to just open the fuck up and open my book and tell my story and as well understand that it does not define my future. It is just who I was and currently am, but I'm allowed to shift over to a new being. I'm allowed to shift through and transition into the butterfly. I don't have to stay the caterpillar, you know, um, and crawl on shit anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm going to make a video about my life story and uh, like my traumas and, and, and how it made me, you know, because you might see me and you might have this depiction of me, of who I am, and it's probably very inaccurate. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, what I have found with mental health, the key to living a more joyful life 
is gratitude as well. I think we focus so much on being happy. We have this idea that you have to be happy all the time. And if you're in a bad mood, a negative mood, a sad mood, that something's wrong with you and you need to go get yourself checked out. And I think that's so incorrect because happy is just another emotion on that scale of emotions. So it would be just as insane to tell somebody to be angry all the time. Be angry all the time. Be angry all the time. Like, no, what you need to do is find joy and peace because joy is being able to understand that there's all sorts of moments in the day in your life and peace is being able to understand the this too shall pass idea. So maybe it's like you're getting a tattoo. Like, yeah, there's pain there, but you know at some point, the tattoo artist is going to say, okay, I'm all done. Look in the mirror. So it's the same analogy, in my opinion. You might be going through some shit right now, and it's pressure that's going to be creating that diamond. So you either decide, are you just a rock that's going to crumble under pressure? Or are you a fucking piece of coal that needed that pressure to become an invincible diamond? Um I think it's the latter. I think you're a fucking diamond. I'm a fucking diamond. I'm learning that. Each day is a self-love day. Let me tell you, I wasn't here a year ago. I wasn't here five years ago. I wasn't here a decade ago. This is new. This is like daily, weekly. This is new to me. Um, so again, whatever your perception, perspective, or view on me is probably very inaccurate from what my life and my story and my actual being is. So if you're interested, um, yeah, I'll be uploading another video about my life, okay? I send you so much love and positivity and just know that whatever you're going through, the tattoo artist is going to say, I'm all done, go look in the mirror, okay? I love you guys. Bye.